Today I'm going to be showing you how to dissect imaginal disks from third instar Drosophila larvae. Third instar larval disks uh, can be used for a number of developmental um, processes. Uh, we look at them in our lab uh, to see uh, the process of apoptosis, um, but you can express uh, various proteins in them and study them that way and uh, see all sorts of developmental processes going on within the disks. Um, in, order to, in order to do that, I'm going to be using several very important tools. First is the um, picking stick with which we'll take the larvae out of their dishes. Um, next, very importantly, is the um, dissecting forceps, um, which need to be extremely sharp in order for the dissection to go forth. Um, then we'll be using a surgical blade, number 11 surgical blade, to remove the discs from the head. And then we'll be placing the discs on a slide um, with some vector shield um, as our mounting media. So the first thing we're going to do is collect some third instar, wandering third instar larvae. I'm just using my picking stick here to sort of pry them off the side of the vial. Sometimes it helps if your stick is a little bit wet and then put them into a drop of PBS. Okay, so here we have our third instar larva. Because I'm right-handed, I'm going to turn his head towards my right. And we're going to use a couple of landmarks to uh, guide us as to where to grasp him. First is the main part of the trachea here and here. And then there's a little cross section up here towards the head. So first, I'm going to grasp the larva about two-thirds of the way down the body from the head, gently. And then I'm going to grasp with my right hand a few millimeters behind the cross piece here, trying to get about halfway through the width of the larva. So that's a pretty good grasp. You can see I'm about halfway through. So then I will gently pull with my right hand forward. See all the intestines coming out there. Okay. The main part of the body can now be discarded. And here we have the head, which includes the imaginal discs attached to the mouth parts. So I'm going to grab him by the mouth parts so that I won't crush any of the discs and move him over to a fresh dot of PBS. So now we have our fixed larval head. I'm going to take away all the excess tissue. You can either grasp the larva by the mouthpieces as before or you can press it down against the dissecting plate with the forceps. The mouthpieces are now to the left. All right, so here we have the gut, which we don't want. salivary gland, There's some fat body, more fat body, just keep pulling away especially fat which can interfere with some assays and staining, anything that you don't want. So now we have the cleaned larval head. So now we have our larval heads, which have been dissected away from the body, fixed and washed, the extraneous tissue removed, and they've been treated with whatever they need to be treated with, which could be an antibody stain, in C2, a tunnel or other functional stain. And now we've placed them on a slide and we're ready to dissect the actual discs away from the, head, the mouth parts. Okay, so this time our mouth parts are on the left here. I'm going to take my forceps and just press them down against the slide. On my right hand I have 
a uh, number 11 scalpel blade, which is a little bit finer instrument to, uh, with which to dissect. So first I'm going to take off the um, CNS and optic lobes. And you see there's the CNS, there's the two optic lobes, and here are the eye antennal discs um, attached to them. So if I remove the CNS by sticking my blade in between the optic lobes and the eye discs and pulling slowly, see the eye discs kind of stretching out there. Okay, so there we have the CNS and the optic lobes. Um, so now we have the two eye, lo eye discs, which have been detached from the CNS, and now I'm going to take them away from the mouth parts, just by gently cutting and pulling at the base. Okay, so there's one eye antennal disc, the other eye antennal disc. Okay, and now we can see the wing disc sticking out here. I'm going to Again, gently find the base, cut, and pull. So there we have a wing disc and a leg disc attached to it along with a little bit of trachea. Okay, so there's your wing disc with the leg disc attached. And there's obviously several leg discs, so we can we can sort of search around in here and find more discs just by gently probing with the with the blade. That's all the discs we're going to find in this one. There's a couple more leg discs.